Hello, this is just um, a feature that I thought I'd record and show you. Um, basically, I'm on Google Maps Street View. Um, I'll post a link to get to this in the description below. But, um, basically, it's on... I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what street it's on. It's on. It's at Earl's Court in London. Um, and as you can see, there's the TARDIS here um, that this is hovering over. And as you can see, there's two arrows here, one arrow there, and one arrow there. If you click these two arrows, ta-da! You can go inside the TARDIS and you can look at the whole of the set. Now, if I, if I turn around... As you can see, the doors are here behind me. But we're not interested in the door. We're interested in the TARDIS, right? Yeah, I'm interested in the TARDIS. So, uh, if we go here, as you can see, we've got this panel. I mean, it's not interactive, it's just like you're looking at the TARDIS map. You can't literally fly the TARDIS. But, you know, it's good enough. Um. Da 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 um, As you can see, this wibbly panel here. And I think on the DVD, Matt Smith movies from the, with this tidy scene, it would have that as like the play menu. And as you can see, there's the TARDIS rotor, well not TARDIS rotor, the TARDIS screen there. TARDIS rotor's there. And, yeah, the Gallifrey text is there. And, you know, I like it. And you might be thinking, but you can only go here. Well, you can go down there, but not very far. Uh, you can't go through the doors. Um, can stand. No, not right now. Can stand in front of it. Um, well, that failed, didn't it? Obviously, that's the chair that Matt Smith occasionally sits in. There's a door that you actually exit out of. Um. Oh, you can't actually go under this floor here for some reason. However, you can go up these stairs, and obviously, um, you can get a good view of the TARDIS console from here, as you can see. There is a door over there, but you can't go through that either. There's also a door over there, just, you can just about see it, you can't go through that either. But you know, it's, it's alright, it's nice to be able to actually go up to somewhere in the TARDIS that we've never seen before. So. I'm just gonna have a drink, ignore me. So check it out. It's fun. You know, I just like to look at it. It's like they should do it for all of them. And the fact that you can go from the outside into it, it's amazing. Obviously that there, I think that's an air vent. And then there's just that there. And then you've got Obviously, this door here. Um, so yeah. Um, and on that note, it's the same at the other side, just tiny bit different. And the only difference is the thing. But you can tell that it is the actual set and not a model because 
as you can see there's wires there for the lights and stuff and as they've gone around taking the pictures for you to be able to view it like this um, they've got the wires in shot but you know it's nice to be able to have and see oh brilliant now I'm once up here now I can't get back down that's kind of gay Oh, brilliant. Come on, I just want to go down there. And as you can see, the levers and stuff are there. And on that note, let me head over here. Obviously that panel there you just seen. And on that note, we'll exit the TARDIS. And there's an ambulance. Oh, where have we landed, Clara? I'm not quite sure, Doctor. Looks like we're in Earl Square, London. And there you are, the blue police box. So there, ladies and gentlemen, is proof that the TARDIS has landed in Earl's Court in London. So guys, if I don't see you through a week, I'll see you through my channel.